For almost a century, steam was part of the landscape in Australia. The old railways helped open the country, and they gave cheap and reliable transport for farmers and townspeople, as well as for their goods and produce. Today, the Don River Tramway near Devonport is putting steam back into the landscape for both pleasure and amusement. The workaday and dirty steam locomotive has become a glistening, gleaming curiosity, which is still setting the hearts of boys of fire. Train travel in Tasmania these days is confined to this railway alone. The Van Diemen Light Railway Society operates it as a tourist attraction. But among the society's members, there are some with other memories of steam. Of the hard and dirty work on the footplate, the days before diesel engines. 50 years of steam is fresh in the memory of driver Cess Lowe. Companionship, uh, steam was the best, but uh, as soon as you change on diesel, you start to lose that part and get on to automatic part. What do you mean companionship? Oh, it's like your wife and family in the home log where you, you find them is more or less, you know, part of your family. You know, as far as railway life's concerned, you live with him and eat with him and cook and, you know, and view each other's judgments and that. Those 50 years that you had with steam, were they good years? I, I would say they was. I was. I was fortunate in a, a lot of ways. Could have been hurt, but there you are. I was, I was one of the fortunate ones. Fortunate in what way? Oh, accidents and things like that, you know. Come off the line and touch the pile on top of you, but you don't get hurt. So, you know, you, you, you consider yourself fortunate. The existence of this preserved branch is a tribute to the enthusiasts who fought to have it restored. But this old engine built in England as long ago as 1902 owes its existence to a series of apparently unrelated events. The engine's design is even older, but its survival was almost an accident. Society member David Hutchinson. It was a goods engine, really, not a passenger engine. And one of the places it did work was on this line, which originally ran to Melrose. And she worked on this line for many years. It was withdrawn from service, I think, about 1960-ish, and then it was restored by the railways for the centenary in 1971. So this is how it managed to survive, um, being cut up. And, um, and then the railways used to hire it to us down here um, for a year or two. And then last year they donated it to us. So it survived because it was chosen as a centenary engine in 1971. Well, it's now 77 years old. Uh, how does she compare now to when she was first built? Well, I have no idea, not being here, but um, as long as it's looked after, it should have a, a number of years' work. The boiler inspector said it's got about 20 years' work uh, in the boiler um, before we'd have to look at a new boiler. And, uh, so if we look after it, it should be going for quite a long time. Yeah. Now, the Van Diemen Light Railway Society has its steam engine, its carriages, its line, and its growing crowd of customers, as well as its spreading fame. To reach this happy stage took nearly 10 years of hard work. David Hutchinson. Well, like a lot of things, it evolved in a peculiar way. A few fellows just got together and we happened to buy a little engine that's over in the shed over there. And um, having got the engine, we had to look for somewhere to run it. And at the same, t same time, the, the railways were getting a ri rid of a lot of steam stuff. And um, we looked about all 50 or 60 different sites, but eventually we settled on this one at Devonport. And um, the Devonport Council helped us a lot, and the government had given us some help. It's we run it because we like doing it. Uh, other people seem to enjoy coming up. <laughs> um, it obviously has some tourist interest and the tourist department are interested in it. Uh, but they're, they're prepared to give us quite a lot of help. People riding on it, what do they get out of it? I don't know. I suppose it's... Uh, I mean, a steam loco is a novelty nowadays, like all things once they since cease to be commonplace. Um, they, people become interested in sailing ships is another example. Um, and... Um, People just like to go for a ride on a train, which is really a quite a novelty these days. It's quite an attractive little trip. Um, we've only got two and a half miles of line at the moment. We hope to extend a little bit more the far end so that the, you know, the trip actually end, ends up on the beach. Um, that's one of the projects. One day we would like to go to Melrose, which is about another four miles, where the, the track originally used to go to. In fact, it originally went to Upper Barrington, a few more miles further on, but it worked to Melrose from an old quarry for many years, and now there's a big caravan park up there. We'd like to get up there. What about the, you know, the response from the people, you know, particularly the kids? 
Oh, well, kids love it. And, uh, <laughs> they, uh, we get a good uh, roll up from the public. And um, we manage to cover all our running expenses and the expenses of restoration. The only money we're short on is big piles of money, uh, say, for big capital works like new shedding and, and such like. Um, but uh, we get a good response. And, uh, we have had oh, over 40,000 passengers on the line so far.